With just one workflow in Kittle Flows, you can turn a single bestseller into dozens of new variations, because Kittle does the heavy lifting and instantly generates unique design options for you. Let me show you how it works. Okay, so first of all, we need some bestsellers that we want to model. And the fastest way to do that is Flying Research. So here we are in Flying Research. Let's click on the bestsellers tab right here on the left. And now we got all the recent bestsellers right here on this list. So let's go up and enter banana right here because we are talking about nano banana, right? So we enter banana, click search, and here we go. We got all the different banana designs right here. So let's see. Yeah, let's pick this one. Let's click on more info right here on this arrow. It says banana, cowboy, cowgirl, country, western. Okay, so we download this idea with this button right here, download. And here we go. Now let's go back again. Let's pick another one. Let's see. This one looks quite interesting. Yeah, it's a banana playing baseball. I guess it's based on a baseball team that's called Bananas. I really have no idea about baseball, but the style looks quite nice. So let's download this one and let's check for another one. So let's also pick this one, the banana playing the electric guitar. So let's download it right here and let's head over to Kittle. So here we are in Kittle and we first want to start a new project. So we click on this button right here on the top right that says new project. Then it opens this window. You get a selection of new Plank artboards right here. Custom t-shirt, Instagram post, Facebook post. Then you got some more templates. But what we do is we click on this button that says show all. And then we click on print on demand right here. And here we go. We just click on this button that says merch by Amazon t-shirt. And it gives us an artboard that's perfect for Amazon merch. So we click that. So here we go, we got the canvas. It also says Merch by Amazon t-shirt. And we got the perfect resolution right here. We can close the templates, we don't need that right now. So step number one would be that we put our designs that we just downloaded and want to model into this canvas. So that's pretty simple to do, it's just drag and drop. And here we go, now it's a bit small, so let's make it bigger. And let's just put this design into the canvas, like this. Leave a bit of space at the top and make sure the design is completely in this artboard. Okay, then you can just click on this empty space right here. Now we zoom out a bit, and then we just click this title, Merch by Amazon T-shirt. Now we selected the complete artboard together with the graphic, and then we can just click on this arrow right here, or we can just click on this button. It really doesn't matter, so just so let's just click on this arrow. Then it adds the smartboard, and that's where the magic happens. Now we can simply describe what we want to change in this design. So in my case, I want to make it play an acoustic guitar. Hit generate and while it's doing that we can add another smart board. So let's click the title right here and the arrow and here we go. Now we can copy the prompt. Just click on that and it's already done. And yeah, just look at it. It's perfect. It kept the style completely and just changed the guitar. So for the next prompts we're just gonna copy this prompt and click on that smart board. Then we can just paste it right here. And let's change that. Let's change it to a piano. Hit generate. And let's have the next one. Click right here, smart board. Paste it in. Make it play the violin. Violin, play the violin, Charlie. And hit generate. Here we go. Now we got the piano. And we click the title again. Click the arrow. And let's have it play the drums. Have it play. Play the drums. Hit generate. Here we go. Yeah, we got the violin right here. And we got the drums. Perfect. Now the style coherence is really amazing. So let's go to the first design again. Let's click the smart board. And we add another smart board right here. And if you regularly watch my videos, you know that I like to generate my designs on a dark gray background. So we do that right now. I just type in put this on a dark gray background and hit generate. And we do the same for the other designs. It's just copy and paste right here. Smart board, paste, generate, click it, add the smart board and paste the prompt and hit generate. And let's zoom out a bit and here we go. Yeah, we got the dark gray background. <laughs> now the dark gray background makes it really easy to remove the background. So don't underestimate the power of the dark gray background. <laughs> 
We got the violin and we got the drums. Yeah, perfect. So do you like bananas or are you more an apple type of guy? So let's generate them as apples. So we go to the first one again and we add another smart board. Just click right here. Then I just use this very simple prompt, make this an apple. Well, it can't get any easier than that. So let's copy this prompt and hit generate. And we do the same for the other images. Paste it, generate it, click it, paste it, generate, click it, click this and paste the prompt and hit generate. And here we go. Let's take a look. Okay, there's a mistake right here with the sun classes. So let's click it again and hit generate again. And we get the piano right here. Yeah, that's perfect. The violin, perfect. And the drums. Oh, okay. We got a mistake right here. So let's regenerate it. Let's go up again. So let's scroll up. Yeah, perfect. So we got the apple instead of a banana. And it completely kept the style. So amazing. We got the piano, the violin, and the drums. Yeah, look at that. So let's add some watermelons. Just click here, smart board, and just enter, make this a watermelon. Okay, so we got the watermelon playing the guitar, the piano, the violin, and the drums. Now we basically built this complete workflow and it generates four times four, so 16 images. And if you want to regenerate images, you can just select them like this. And it says 16 boards selected right here. And then you can just click generate again and it regenerates all of them. And the generations are basically all based on the first image right here on our artboard. And as you can see, we get variations. These look a bit different than our first generations. And it even added drum master right here on the drums. And if you don't like any of the generations, you can just click the, the image and then hit generate again, like this button. And here we go, it's regenerating. So now we got the workflow. Now let me show you the big advantage of this workflow. So we go back to our original image right here on the artboard. Then we're just gonna put it away right here. And we're gonna upload our next one. So this baseball playing banana right here. You put it into the canvas. Just make it fit so that you can't see the white space anymore. Yeah, like that. You can even make it a bit bigger. And I would put it more to the top. You can see this cross when it's centered. Okay, I would just leave it like that. And then we zoom out. And remember, we got all these smart boards connected to this original design, or in our case, this artboard. So what we do is we select all our smart boards and then we generate again. Now let's see what we get. So let's zoom in a bit. And here we go. We got the first one. We got the piano, the guitar, the drums. Yeah, look at that. Amazing. And we get the gray background. We get the violin. And he's wearing that jacket. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's cross niching. So there's something missing right here. So this row didn't really work. So let's select it and hit generate again. Just these four. Now let's take a look at the first ones right here. Yeah, we got him playing the guitar. I mean the acoustic guitar. Then we get the same on the dark gray background. Then we got the apple and we get the watermelon. Yeah, amazing. Now the next ones are generating and it's nearly done. So we get the piano right here. And the background isn't really specified, so we got the detailed background. But then we got the dark gray background and we got the apple and the watermelon. So let's check the next ones. Yeah, these are quite nice. It's not really on the dark gray background, so let's regenerate them. Generate again. Let's check the other ones. Yeah, these are basically perfect. And here we go. It's generating. Now I'm amazed by the style coherence. Just look at it. Yeah, we got the watermelon. Perfect. Now I don't know how Nano Banana does this, but it's amazing as you can see. Now, if you want to use an image, you just click it right here and then you click convert to image. And here you go, you got the image. And inside of Kittle, you can already edit this design. You can remove the background, vectorize, or even upscale it. So let's put this to the side and let's test the last one. We got the cowboy banana. That's also quite interesting. And the style is very similar to this guitar playing banana. So now we do it the lazy way and we just gonna select all of these smart boards and hit generate again. Now let's see what we get. Yeah, here we go. Now it's still wearing the cowboy hat. I like that. The guitar really fits the style. <laughs> 
Let's see the other ones. Yeah, it's playing the violin right here, playing the drums. We got the apple. Okay, that's a big apple. And it's generating, we got the watermelon right here. We got the violin, we got the piano, and we got the guitar. Yeah, so there you go. You got your wide selection of designs in just seconds. Now let me show you a Kittle workflow that works for basically any design. So to create a new workflow, you can just go on this burger menu right here on the left and click on new projects right here. Then we get to this window again. We click on show all, click on print on demand and choose merge by Amazon t-shirt. So for this workflow that works on basically any design, I chose these designs right here. And these are basically bestsellers right now. So let's first start with this one, the Bulldog. Let's put it into the artboard. Just drag it like this. And I would put it more to the top like this. Yeah, that's better. Now I just click the title again and add smartboard. And then I use a very simple prompt. Give this design a twist. Yeah, it doesn't get any easier. And hit generate. And while it's generating, I will add some more. It's just copy and paste. Okay, here we go. Now it's changed the dog. And I think that's a different breed. I don't even know. I'm not a dog expert. And then we get this one. Yeah, this looks interesting. We get this blue outline and it's wearing a different jacket. And we got the outline on the font. Then we got this one. It changed the font and added some details right here on the graphic. And this one changed the font and the graphic. And this one is way different. Bulldogs and it's running. Okay, interesting. Now let's do something fun. Let's scroll to the top again. Click the smart board and add some other smart board to it. That means we will change this design. And let's use the prompt, give this design a funny twist. And hit generate and let's do the same for the other ones. Okay, it's generating. Let's scroll up. Yeah, look at that. That's a poodle, I think. And what do we have right here? What the, what's that derpy deck? Always hungry. Okay. Yeah, we got a party going on right here. Interesting. Okay, that's really funny. <laughs> Look at that. And let's check the last one. Yeah, now it's chasing a duck. Okay. And I don't really know if that's on purpose, but that looks funny. So, and again, if you don't like any of these, you can just regenerate them. So let's regenerate the first one or the first two. We select them and hit generate again. And here we go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's funny. No, I must admit these are really scroll stopping designs. And let's go really crazy. Let's just select this one and add the prompt. Make this a different species because yeah, why not? And here we go. Here we get another dog breed. Then we get the cat right here. And we get the same cat in the next design. It's also having a party. And we get the lion. The lion in a tutu. Okay. And we get the bear chasing a chicken that says bulldogs. Okay, that's really crazy. So remember, we started with this design. And we get these variations right here, which are really crazy. We'll just look at them. Maybe I should have stated that I just want a very small twist. Okay, let's try the other ones. Now let's first try the eagle right here. So let's put it right there. Put it into the canvas, just like that. And let's select all the smart boards. Yeah, we got 15 smart boards and let's hit generate again. Now let's see the crazy ideas. And here we go. Let's start from the bottom. Yeah, this one looks quite futuristic. You got this one. Looks like Terminator. Okay. You got the party eagle and the party animal together with pizza and tacos and hot dogs. Okay. We got the lion and we got this vapor rave style eagles party mode. And yeah, it gets even crazier. <laughs> Look at that party mode. Now this, this should be the funny style and this is the other species. And let's check out the other ones. We got the lion, then we got the monkey and we get the fox right here. Party that says party animal. Yeah, for some reason he's wearing red hair. Okay. And I really don't know what that is. This head is quite a nice detail. So that's really crazy. And yeah, I would just pick the best ones from these smart boards. And since Kittle doesn't charge us for nano banana credits, we can just run it again at absolutely no extra cost. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So let's regenerate them. And let me show you the best ones. Yeah, look at that punk. <laughs> that's funny. We got Cyber Eagle. 
Okay, now let's wait for the other ones. Now the punk gets even wilder, look at that. And then it becomes an owl, of course. So yeah, this could also be very entertaining. Let's test the last one. Now you probably know this design. I would personally stay away from this trend, but let me know what you think. So let's put this into the frame and let's just select them and hit generate again. Okay, let's see. Yeah, look at that. Now it's playing the electric guitar and it's even wearing a jacket. And this one looks even more aggressive. This one looks psychedelic. And we got the rocker again and the cyberpunk. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you can make this up even if I wanted to. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, this one is definitely psychedelic. You want to see that bigger? Okay. There you go. You got your nightmare fuel. Okay. Let's check the other ones. What's that? Okay. Now it puts a twist on the phrase. So it's more family friendly, I guess. And the first one. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's also more family friendly. Yeah, amazing. So let's just run it again. That's so much fun. I could do this all day. So, oh, we got the pirate right here. We got the eagle. Okay. Oh, yeah. I forgot my glasses. Yeah, that's crazy. I probably wouldn't even remove the background from this one. Then we got the pirate right here and an astronaut, of course. So now we would just pick your best designs, remove the background, upscale them, write your listings and upload them to Amazon. Now Kittle has a special promotion going on right now where you can use the Nano Banana model for all paid users for free until October 3rd. So when you start right now with Kittle, make sure to use my coupon code DANIELSYT and you get 25% off your subscription. Want to see some more awesome Kittle workflows? Then check out this video right here.